guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here please pause the video right now and go and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video with me and today's video is actually my first ever series to film on youtube so i've decided to film a cutting series because it's the new year january and i just want to lose a little bit of fat and i thought i'd film it so I thought, why not start a series? So it's going to be, this is the first episode of the cutting series. And obviously, there'll probably be about five other episodes. So I'm going to film one each month. And it's going to be like a different type of video each time. This one's just a little introduction to the cutting series. And I'm really excited to film because in a couple of months, hopefully i will be in the best shape ever <laughs> let's hope um but yeah so i am gonna start the video with my measurements weigh-in and progress videos so i'm just gonna slot that in here hey guys so it is about half eight in the morning on the 9th of january on a saturday and i thought i'd film my measurements and my weight so then I can look back and see how far I've come and I'm also going to do like a progress video so then I can watch it back in about six months and see how far I've come from these <laughs> so I thought I'd do my measurements yeah and let you follow along my journey so let's do this Please excuse how old fashioned my measuring tape is. Right, we'll go for the inches, okay? I'm really hoping I haven't put that much weight on when I was bulking. But because I was bulking, I probably have. That was fun because I get to eat a loads of food. But from today, I'm gonna lower my calories, figure out my calories, put myself in a deficit, but not too much because obviously. I'm going to do this slow and sustainable so then because I like my food I'm not going to cut it out straight away <laughs> so I thought I'd go straight in for inches on my waist so watch me drop in now <laughs> so that is 25 everyone else agree Oh, am I just putting it too tight? So just 25. I've always had quite a tiny waist, but since I was doing a maintenance slash mini bulk, I did put a bit of chunk on around my waist, but that's just normal. Right, so the hips, so the biggest part of your hips. And that is just over 35 oh that's not good <laughs> that's not good angle gib there and you can see right i'm also gonna do my biceps and my thighs just to see how much i lose because i don't really want to lose much off my thighs because i do like having quite chunky thighs and my biceps they could do with some growing <laughs> so inch I'd say 19 I don't know if you can see that at all and then biceps are probably like 9 because they're tiny and I'm not doing two bo both legs because, oh both arms because I'm not that nitpicky about it <laughs> Oh my gosh, my baby arms are so tiny. I'd say 10. 10 inches. I don't know, I might be pushing it, so it's like nearly 10. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the measurements done. I don't think I've missed anything else because I don't really want to measure anything else. Just my waist, my hips and my biceps and thighs just because that's the area that I want to see the most progress in and I'm gonna 
go and measure myself now. Please excuse how old fashioned my weighing scale is, but that's the only weighing scale I got. And I've always weighed myself on it and I trust that one. I don't really trust it, but you know what I mean. So I haven't had any water, I haven't had any food, literally just woken up. This is the best time to weigh yourself because it's the most accurate. So I'm going to pop myself on there now. I can't move my phone. But you're just going to have to believe me. I'm not going to lie about it. It's not like a big thing for me. So I'm going to weigh myself now and figure out what we could do. <laughs> about 9.7 uh not kg she feels i'd be like a thing in minuscule piece um so it was nine basically nine and a half stone i think it's stone yeah it is she won't wake up i haven't had coffee yet <laughs> um yeah so 9.7 stone um i don't know whether it goes out to kilograms it's probably around 60 62 no probably 60 and yeah that's not too bad i'm not ashamed of that at all i've got some muscle on me after bulking so it's not too bad at all the only thing that i really want to get tight this year is my stomach this area and Obviously, I want to try and keep my glutes as much as possible during this cut. So that's why I'm doing it slow, sustainable way. So then I know that I can keep my glutes while cinching in the waist, which is a big okay for me. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do a progress uh, video. And I also obviously keep my thing up and then on the next um, video, so literally just two seconds later, just gonna roll it down, just be real with you because obviously my lower belly is way I'm more insecure about because it does, I got a bulge, but who cares? So I'm gonna do the uh, progress video now. Please don't judge because I've never done one of these before. <laughs> well, I have, but I've never showed anyone. So. Let's pop them down a little bit. So that's the start of progress. I go to the side. And then I'll show my back. Right, the big reveal. I'm gonna pop my um, shorts down just a little bit and then we'll do that whole shambles again. <laughs> done that okay for my first ever progress video measurements and stuff like that I did take about seven minutes but I'm okay with that <laughs> um but yeah so I'm obviously gonna talk about what supplements I'm gonna take my training split and yeah I'm excited so I will see you in about one sec. Right. Next, we are on to supplements that I'm going to be taking throughout the six months. So I am going to be taking, firstly, my multivitamins and my minerals. So just 
pretty much every type of one you can get. I just buy them from literally any store. Tesco, Superdrug, anyway. Like wherever shop I go into when I'm low on them and they're there, so I just pick them up. Uh, the next one will be CLA. Love it. And then creatine. I've been taking this for a while anyway, but I just love how it makes me feel in the gym. So that. And one of my favourite ones that I've been taking for the last, I think it's a month now, and it's been making me feel amazing, is my Miracle Greens. And oh my gosh, when I say this is a great product to have when you don't eat enough greens throughout the day, it honestly makes a difference to your immune system and it just gives you this boost that you need, honestly. So, Miracle Greens is 100% green powder. It is organic, plant-based superfoods. So there's no junk foods in you. There's no added extras. There's nothing like that. You can add into smoothies. What I do is literally just pop it with a bit of water and I just shot it. So it tastes like, how can I describe it? Cold tea. If anyone drinks cold tea, it tastes like that. <laughs> um, and it really mixes in really easy. So literally all you have to do is a couple of stirs, pop it down and it's no lumps or anything. There's about six, yeah, 16 superfoods in this in all. So I don't know actually how to, say half of them so i'm not gonna name them out i'll just name them pop them in by you if you so you can see and literally it has given me this boost that i've needed for a while because i've cut out caffeine i've been a bit sluggish in the mornings and since drinking this every morning it's honestly been giving me this massive boost and if you don't eat enough vegetables, I would suggest you need something like this just to give you the right nutrients your body needs. So yeah, that's the supplements I will be taking throughout the six months of this new journey. And now I'm going to talk about my training splits. So in the past, when I've done cuts, I've done too much training and it really shows in my physique because my it just doesn't go well because I don't stick to it. So this time I've decided to do five days. So I'm gonna be doing three legs just to keep my glutes intact. <laughs> Cause I know when I cut my legs and my glutes do go down a lot more than anything else around my body. My face goes in and then my legs and glutes do, which is really annoying because I'd wish this would stay chunky. And then this, especially this would just go down. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm going to be training legs, so I'm obviously going to split them up. So it's going to be full legs on Monday, so that's going to be my heavy leg day. And then Tuesday will, no, not Tuesday, what am I on about? Wednesday will be my glutes and hamstrings. And then Friday is going to be quads and calves, because we all need a bit of definition in them calves, don't we? Especially men. <laughs> but yeah, so that's going to be my training split. And then the Tuesday and the Thursday will be, I think Tuesday I've picked for back and biceps. Um, I'm most probably going to put rear delts in with that as well. And then the Thursday will be, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> Thursday will be shoulders, chest and triceps. And then I'm also... I've never done this before, but I'm also going to be doing seven minutes of abs every single day, which is a killer, but I'm sure it'll make a much better difference with my flat belly or six pack, wherever it turns out to be. It's going to look a lot better than what it has done in the past because I'm not a big fan of training abs, if anyone noticed on so my Instagram because I don't really post about them. <laughs> But yeah, so that's my supplements I'm going to be taking throughout this cutting series and my training split. I don't know if it'll change, but I know for this first month and, well, my training split changes every six to eight weeks. So it's going to change, but I'm also 
I'm going to obviously count my calories. Um, I'm not going to say how many calories I'm going to be eating throughout this because everyone's different and everyone needs different calorie intake. So I'm not going to say that, but I'm just going to say that I'm just under maintenance. So I'm not, I'm not cutting straight away. Like it's not going to be like a massive dramatic turn out every month. So when it's next month, so it'll be the 9th of February, the next time I do a video. Um, but I'm sure there'll be little changes because I'm going to go, go harder in my training and also I'm going to clean up my diet, obviously stick to the same calories, but it's going to be less chocolate, less sweets and stuff like that because it also helps my eczema because I've got really bad eczema and when I eat chocolate, or cheese or anything dairy stuff like that my skin just breaks out so this month is just like a d de a cleanse d cleanse yeah it's one of them <laughs> so yeah um i'm really excited for you to follow along my journey and i will see you in the next video